hello everyone welcome back to my channel today as you can see here i've got i'm gonna do my makeup declutter uh for 2022 i'm gonna let you know which things i'm keeping i'm gonna be concentrating on complexion products foundation as you can see here and also blushes highlighters primers bronzers those kind of stuff so it might be a part one and part two depending how long it's going to be so we'll see how it goes guys so this is all my foundations complexion products that i've got so i'll go throughout each of them how i like them and if i'm gonna declutter it or if i'm gonna keep it so the first product we've got here is the beautiful skin from Charlotte Tilbury. absolutely love this foundation so definitely i'm gonna be keeping it I love the shade, I love how it looks on my skin, giving a beautiful glow without being overdone, over glowy. It's just beautiful, lasts long all day. It's a foundation I use on a daily basis. I've got the shade 3, 3 neutral here. Very nice shade rate. It's a nice foundation, comes with a pump. It's absolutely great and loving it so for this reason it gives a beautiful glow to my skin i'm going to be keeping this one next one i've got the hermes the natural enhancing complexion Bal spf 30. i love the simplicity of the of the packaging and this is the actual shade what it looks like uh, it's absolutely beautiful balm it's not a foundation it just gives me beautiful coverage it has nice same rage. I love how it looks on my skin. So I use it throughout the summer now. If I just don't want to wear a lot of makeup, I tend to grab this balm from Hermes. And it's beautiful on the skin. Uh, and I love it. Absolutely love it. It's not glowy. It's, it's not matte. It's just beautiful everyday kind of a look. Uh, if you want a bit of coverage for the summer, I think it's great. It's not heavy and it's a bit, a bit of SPF, so I really love this one, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Next, we've got from Chanel, the new Le Base Complexion Touch. Definitely one of my favorites. I took it on my holiday for 10 days, and all this I used it once a day for 10 days, and absolutely loved it. It comes in a beautiful pump. I love the shade range. So as you can see, the pigments here, uh, when you pop it on your hand, when you mix it with your finger or with a brush and blend on your skin, it gives you beautiful coverage. Uh, it's um, a nice, beautiful glow, I would say. Not over glow, it's just beautiful, natural looking skin. It's like a second skin effect, bare kind of a look. Uh, it's like between a tint and a foundation, and I love that. So you, I think I can wear it throughout the year. This foundation is not just for summer. And absolutely love how it looks. And you only need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. A beautiful, beautiful complexion product from Chanel. Definitely, I'm going to be keeping this one as well. Next one we've got from Gucci, their foundation. I used half of the bottle, as you can see. This one, I don't really like the shade. It's a bit light for my skin tone, I think. I don't think I chose the correct shade. And it's not the most flattering foundations I've used. I love the packaging, super gorgeous. Uh, so I think I'm going to declutter this one. Uh, I've used it quite a lot anyway, halfway, and I don't like the shade rate. It's a bit too light for my skin tone, for my liking, and it's not as flattering as other foundations I've got. So for this reason, I'm going to declutter this one. Next one we've got from Suku, the liquid foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It comes this beautiful packaging. It's so heavy, so, so beautiful, this... Um, this bottle, absolutely love the bottle. I love the foundation, I love the shade range. It's absolutely stunning on my skin. Flawless looking, glowy, beautiful, beautiful. Very flattering, very nice foundation. I highly recommend this one if you've not tried it. It's one of my favorite foundations. I love the coverage. I love how it looks on my skin. It's long wearing, it's very flattering, very flawless looking skin. Absolutely love the glow of it as well. So definitely I'm going to be keeping this. Uh, it's quite pricey. So I think, it, what, I think it was the money. I've got the say 220. It says here 220. Really lovely foundation from Suku. Really loving it and keeping it. Next we've got from Dior. The natural Dior, Dior Forever Natural Nude it's called. Uh, really love the packaging. The white cap here is so gorgeous. I've used most of it as you can see. 
and I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna finish it off because I really love the finish of it, very beautiful, glowy foundation, flawless on the skin as well, gorgeous, not heavy, just beautiful coverage, absolutely stunning, love it, and I'm gonna be keeping this and finish it off, I'm almost done, and I've got this shade, let's have a look, I can't remember which shade is this one, 2N I think, it's 2N, so I'm gonna be keeping that. Next, we've got the West Manatilia. How gorgeous this packaging. First of all, the packaging I absolutely love. It's quite handy for traveling. So this is the shade three, I think. Yeah. So I love their foundation. It's in a stick format. It's very, as I say, very handy for traveling. It's magnetic closure. So it won't, the cap won't come off. It's really, really lovely for traveling. Uh, I love the stick format, it's easy to apply on the skin, it blends beautifully, it's the most natural looking foundation. You, When you wear it, you feel like you're not wearing anything. I uh, love the shade rates, it's great. The coverage is nice, it's not heavy. Um, absolutely love it. Lo lasts longer on my skin as well. So when I want to go for a natural looking skin, I wear this one, but you can actually go over done with this because you apply direct on the skin with a stick so sometimes i put too much so you need a little goes a long way with this foundation just to be aware if you if you've got it or you're gonna buy it really loving it and i'm keeping it definitely next foundation is from lisa eldridge the seamless skin foundation gorgeous packaging with a pump absolutely love this foundation it's not it's for all skin types it's for you can tailor it if you want to make it more glowy, you can put a glowy primer or it's best for also for oily skin because it's not glowy, it's not matte, it's something in between. So you can play with it, you can uh, make it work for your skin type. So it's for everybody and absolutely love it. I love the shade range, that's great. You can actually get a sample card from her site and find your, your best match for yourself. Uh, I've got the shade 7. I absolutely love the packaging, it stands like this, or you can hold it, this has got a holder where you can hold the foundation on your counter if you don't like it being flat. Absolutely love the packaging, love the finish, it's flawless, my skin looks beautiful. When you first apply, you need to wait like 20-30 minutes, then it looks its best, as, it, as the day goes, it looks perfection on the skin, flawless looking, long lasting foundation, and definitely I'm going to be keeping that. Next one, we've got the number one De Chanel uh, Revitalizing Foundation. This one has skincare benefits, absolutely love it. Comes with a pump as well. I've got the shade B20. Um, absolutely love this foundation. Uh, has skincare benefits, it has a scent, not too overpowering. Uh, I love it. I love the flawless, how my skin looks. Very flawless, very natural looking as well. It's not heavy, it doesn't sink down any fine lines, wrinkles. It makes my skin looks beautiful, very natural looking as well, gorgeous, and also gives me skincare benefits. So for that reason, I really love it, and I'm going to be keeping that. Next, we've got from La Mer. This is the cushion foundation. It comes with a cushion here, and then you've got the cushion there. I've had this for some time now, so I need to really use it up. I really love it. It's one of my favorite foundations, very natural looking, gives you beautiful coverage. It doesn't have the strong scent of La Mer foundations. It has a scent, but it's not as overpowering as the liquid foundation, which I finished now. I don't have the, the bottle at the moment. I've finished it. Uh, so I prefer this one over to the liquid one that I do. Uh, I found it has a better coverage and also has less scent and it's quite long lasting. I love this foundation. Definitely, I'm going to be using it. It's, I had this for some time, so I need to use it off. And then get a refill, it's refillable, very, very nice. I'm gonna keep keeping this. Next, we've got the Rose Ink, the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tint and Serum. Absolutely love this as well for summer. As you can see, I've used quite a lot. It comes with a pump. It has the pigment, the same with the, if you remember the Chanel one. It's not actually due to it, kind of. If you interested to try it, you can try it. It looks beautiful on my skin. So it's perfect for summer, springtime. Uh, this foundation, absolutely love the finish. It's, uh, as I say, very natural. It gives me a nice coverage, not over, over glowy as well. Just beautiful glow, healthy looking skin, and I love it. So I'm gonna be keeping this. Next, we've got a similar kind of product from uh, the Water Fresh Team. This is one of my favorite for spring and summer. Uh, it comes with a pump as well. I've got the say medium light. 
absolutely love this one it came after this one came after this water fresh tint this one has less less coverage than the complexion touch but still is one of my favorite very unique foundations and i will not go out without having this ever if i ever finish it i always gonna repurchase it and always have it in my collection it's very unique product one of my favorite of all time complexion products i'm gonna be keeping it it gives me a beautiful glow like a bare skin effect beautiful for summer spring love it i'm gonna be keeping this and then uh, from valentino i've got the very valentino foundation uh, this is a gorgeous packaging as well and i love the finish it's very flawless on the skin it's beautiful like i remember the shade i picked up uh, i can't see now if i find that i'm leaking down below the shade it's very beautiful foundation natural looking not heavy as well it's long lasting on my skin and it gives me a beautiful natural glowy kind of a look but not over the top as well so it's beautiful balance between a natural looking and a glowy kind of foundation yeah gorgeous and i love the packaging it's a stunning foundation i really love how it looks on my skin and i'm gonna be keeping it next we've got the la base uh, healthy long wearing healthy glow hydration and long wearing foundation as you can see the writing has gone off i've got it for some time i'm gonna be finishing it off because it's really really beautiful i don't think i have loads left anyway so i'm definitely it's a beautiful natural it's so long long lasting long wearing so i tend to wear it at work a lot uh because it gives me throughout the day i don't need to do any touch up so it's beautiful foundation and i'm gonna be finishing it off and keeping it for sure and last for my complexion i've got the fenty beauty skin tint this is, was really really lovely it was surprising me because normally skin tints they become to do very become very overglowy or glowy but this one is not the case so it would be nice for oily skins as well uh, but for me it's a bit too matte i've wear it quite a lot so i think i'm going to declutter this one now uh, when I'm in the clutter, probably what I'm going to do is pass it over to family members and see. But it was a nice tint, uh, but it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting something more glowy, but it didn't, didn't have any glowness to it. But it was nice to use. I might, I might have used maybe half of it at the moment. So I'm going to be clutter and give it away to family and friends. Uh, so that was my complexion products. I'm going to keep bringing out my bronzes and see. Uh, which ones I'm keeping, which ones I'm done. Let's bring it over and I'll show it with you. Back. So I've got all my blushes and see which ones I'm going to be keeping, which ones I'm going to be decluttering. We'll start with the Santa Kai Flower Power. It's gorgeous. I'm almost finished out of it. It's a beautiful, very soft, beautiful color. Absolutely love it. I love how soft it looks on my, how easy to apply. You can't go wrong with this blush. You cannot go over the top. I'm almost done out of it, so I'm going to definitely be keeping and using, finish it all off. Quite beautiful product. Really love the softness of the look. Then I've got the Patrick Ta. I've got this uh, Do We Know Her? It's the shade, which is beautiful, peachy shade. You've got the cream and you've got the powder. Absolutely love it. I think I'm going to be keeping this. I love the, the versatility. You can use it either on their own or you can mix them together, blend the powder, then you put the cream on top or all, uh, the other way around. I like to play with that kind of a blush. Love the shades, love the formulation. Beautiful blushes. I'm going to be keeping this thing, guys. I love it. Next one we've got for Pat McGrath. This is the shade Divine Rose. As you can see, I used it quite a few times, but the design is still there, which is great. Uh, this is a beautiful pinky, rosy, dusky rose. It's stunning, but I haven't used as much as I would, th I would like to use it. Uh, so for that reason, I might be giving it away to family at some point. For now, I'm going to be keeping it, but I have the mind probably if I don't use it in the next couple of months, I might be giving it away to family and friends. I've used it, but not as much as I thought I would use. I don't tend to grab towards it, so probably I need to declutter it. The next, I've got this slick, beautiful blush from Shuku. This is the beautiful shade here. It has a highlighting and a beautiful pink shade. Absolutely love this blush. It's illuminating. It's beautiful on the cheeks. I love the shade. Beautiful uh, formula. Very easy to blend. They look amazing on the, on the cheeks and absolutely love it and i'm gonna be keeping it next we'll go to chanel the water blush 
absolutely love this wear as well for summer now it's one of my go-to looks very natural very illuminating and also what i like how i use it i squared some on my on my back of my hand then i mix it all together and uh, then apply with the brush this is the best way i found it when i use my fingers it looks like patchy at some spots it looks like you put more on others than other parts of the face so it's difficult to put the same amount of pigment with your fingers but with the brush it looks absolutely flawless and stunning and that's the way i like to apply it i love the experience the how mix on my hand and all that i absolutely love the formula love it love it love it i'm gonna be keeping it next we've got from hermes the rose nuit number 54 this is the beautiful blushes absolutely love the shade i love the formula it looks beautiful very well pigmented i love 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 the formula it has a beautiful nice scent as well to it like a violet kind of a scent absolutely stunning on the cheeks absolutely love it and definitely one of my i have to keep it and probably i have to get another one at some point because they're very very pretty next we've got from rose ink i've got the shade anemone this beautiful apricot shade I've used it quite a lot, use my fingers, just so easy to apply on your cheeks, perfect for spring and summer, creamy blush, absolutely lovely, long lasting on my cheeks, you pop it on, it stays on, it's not sticky, it's absolutely beautiful and natural looking, and I'm going to be keeping it for sure, I love it. Then I've got from West Van Atelier, this beautiful um, cream stick blush in the shade petal absolutely stunning shade first of all it's so gorgeous the appliance like a dream easy to blend it looks super natural so for everyday looks that i want to look natural i go for this happy with the blush definitely a keeper next one i've got from dior it's the shade let's have a look four eight four six two beautiful beautiful shade absolutely stunning love the formula and the design is still stunning i use it so much but you can still see the design it's absolutely stunning blouse from dior love the formula love the color and it's a keeper i'm gonna keep that one next from chanel we've got oh this is a long time i hit pan on it but it has to go guys i have to declutter this as much as i love to see this it has to go i had it for a few years now so i think it's gone wrong it must have gone wrong now uh it was maybe years years ago but i really kept it because i love the design of the blush and the shades are so stunning so beautiful just a great release but i think i have to declutter it now cannot use it so that has to go then we've got from the holiday collection this beautiful beautiful shade which i'm planning to keep because it's a very unique shade it's so gorgeous on the ski it has this illuminating bronzy rosy effect absolutely stunning i'm gonna be keeping this plus from chanel that's a keeper it was a limited edition from holiday collection so i'm gonna be keeping that and last for my blush is from the spring collection from last year this duo highlighting I'm definitely going to be keeping this. It's a beautiful peachy coral shade. We've got the pink light, the pink, which is a highlighter. And you've got the beautiful peach shade here. Absolutely stunning, either on their own or mix them together as a highlighter and a blush. I love the versatility. I love the shades, how they look on the skin. Beautiful quality. Absolutely stunning. Definitely, I'm going to keep it so that was today guys all i think this is a part one i'm gonna be doing part two maybe my eyeshadows and my lipsticks this is my part one i think i'm gonna stop here because i think it's gonna be way too long for you to watch all of it so i'm gonna be doing a part two for my lipsticks my eyeshadows uh and things like that so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe to my channel i'll see you later Bye bye guys. Hey guys, I'm back with some of my bronzers, some of my liquid highlighters, contour sticks, and I also forgot to share with you the foundation I've got from Gucci. Uh, this was a cushion foundation. The shade edge was very limited, so I didn't enjoy it. I only wear it few a few times, so, so it's quite new. So this is what it looks like. Um, 
because of the shade it didn't complement my skin tone very very light on my skin so i didn't enjoy it i really love the beautiful packaging so definitely i'm gonna be cluttering this foundation so now let's go to bronzers so first of all i've got the victoria beckham bronzer brick i've got the shade 01 it looks like this absolutely stunning i like to mix both of them and use it as a bronzer absolutely love the formula you can't go wrong with this bronzer uh, as much as you want to, even if you're a beginner, you cannot go wrong with that bronzer. It, it, it's finely milled, it's very beautiful, the shade range, it looks beautiful on the skin, very natural looking, not over the top, and absolutely love this bronzer. So if you're a beginner, you're trying to find a new bronzer, I highly recommend this one from Victoria Beckham. Um, you're gonna enjoy it and you cannot go wrong, as I said, with this bronzer, definitely a keeper. Then we've got the Gucci bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. I use it quite a lot, as you can see here. It's more on the red side as a bronzer. I love that one, so I'm going to be keeping it. It's beautiful. Gives me that beautiful sun kiss look. I love the shade. It, it tends to go to the red side of the spectrum of bronzers. But that's what I love about this bronzer. It looks beautiful on the skin. And I'm going to be keeping that bronzer. Then I've got the new Le Base, the oversized uh, powder from Chanel. Absolutely gorgeous. On the skin, it's very natural looking. It gives you this beautiful sunkiss look. For me, this is the perfect bronzer for the summertime. So, highly recommend it if you are looking for a new bronzer. It's beautiful on the skin, sunkiss look. Perfect, perfect, perfect bronzer. I'm gonna be keeping this. Next one, we've got the Soleil Tan, the from Chanel, the cream bronzer. This is the first formulation, so I think I have to declutter this. I used most of it. It's not dry yet or anything, but I had it so long. It looks a bit dry, actually. I think I have to declutter this now. I had it far too long, but this is a beautiful uh, formula, this original. Soleil Tan from Chanel and you get great value for your money so I highly recommend this bronzer it's easy to blend it looks beautiful natural on the skin uh, but as I say I had it for some time now so I need to actually say goodbye to this then I've got a contour stick from Natal Westman Atelier as you can see here I put, took it with me on holiday and this cap because it's not magnetic it's the travel size it doesn't stay close, so I'm not going to be taking it with me anymore, but I absolutely love this contour stick. It's the same biscuit. It's so natural. It blends like a dream. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite contour sticks, and I'm going to be keeping this. Uh, for highlighters, I've got this one from Westman Atelier. This is the shade Lit. Absolutely love it. It looks natural. Uh, beautiful highlighting on my cheekbones. I absolutely love because it looks very natural very very pretty love it i'm gonna be keeping this then i've got all over the face the primer from charlotte tilbury the hollywood flawless filter so that's a travel mini size i think i've used down to here already and i've got the shade which shade i've got jeez too fair i think yes it says too fair uh absolutely love it it comes with an applicator you just apply it on your skin and it gives me a beautiful glow before I put my foundation. Mostly I use it like a base, it's like a primer before I put my foundation and I love it. And sometimes I use it on top of my cheekbones. I love it for that as well. Very, very pretty. I love it. I'm going to be keeping this. Then for all my face, I've got also the Olivia Palermo Prime Time Highlighting Serum. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous. This beautiful dark green with uh, the beautiful red gold. This has like a lilac kind of uh, a hue to it. It gives a beautiful glow to my skin. So I use it before I put any foundation. Sometimes I can mix it with my foundation if I want to go for a glowy look. Highly recommend. Olivia Palermo products are amazing. I think she's underrated. She's not been talked too much on uh, YouTube. I think she deserves more and the way the packaging is presented, the prices are great. The quality of the products are stunning and this is one of my favorite primers to use if i want to go for a glow base so definitely i'll be keeping this one and then from lisa eldridge liquid highlighters i'm going to be talking about i've got two of them uh i've got let's have a look 
which say they've got the pink moon, which is the latest school pink, very beautiful shade. It comes with this big fat, whoop, with this big fat applicator. It's so stunning on the skin. Absolutely love it. This is, this is my favorite now shade. And then I've got Cosmic Rose as well, which is this shade here. Um, this is more gold kind of uh, to your skin, while this is more cool, more rosy toned. So I love both of them. I've used quite a lot of this one. Now I'm more keen on using the, um, the rosy one. How I use those, sometimes I just use it on top of my cheekbones or whatever I want to highlight. And sometimes I mix it with my foundation or I use it as a base before I put my foundation. It's, it's very versatile products, how you use them and absolutely love them. So, okay, guys, so both of them I'm going to be keeping. So now I'm going to bring my blushes and see which blushes I'm going to be keeping and which ones I'm going to be decluttering. Guys, so this is the products that I'm going to be decluttering to from Gucci, the foundations. I think they have to go purely to poor choices of shades. This one was not my fault. There's only six shades, but this one I should have chosen a better shade. So them two have to go and the Fendi skin thing has to go as well. And I'm keeping the rest. I'm quite happy the rest of my collection so far. So that was the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.